Mabuhai, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea, a channel about relationships, mostly marriage to a woman from the Philippines. Please subscribe here. Today's topic is about love. That's the first name of my channel. I'm going to call this Loving or Hating Your Filipina is a Choice. Now, I hadn't really thought about this before. I've always said here on this channel in over 1,600 videos that love is a choice. It's something you choose to do when you don't feel like it, when your wife isn't the woman she thought you was, she was, or she doesn't do what you want her to do, or she's just being rebellious or whatever it could be. And then you have to choose, yes, you have to choose to love her, to um, put her first, meet her needs physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, regardless of how she's treating you. I think that's the call to husband. It's a biblical call and it's a difficult one. Now, I never though thought about it as a choice to hate your wife when things aren't going well. Or if the word hate is too hard for you, then maybe the term, uh, you know, unappreciative or neglectful or, gosh, that's not the word I was thinking where you just don't uh, care about them. You don't really hate them, but you just neglect them. Maybe the word will come to me uh, before it's over. Um, but th that's a choice too. I have to choose to hate her or despise her, to ignore her, neglect her. I have to choose to take her for granted. I have to choose if I'm going to be apathetic towards her as if she's no longer important to me. That's a choice too. I never ever looked at it that way. But it's true because if loving her when times are tough is a choice, then I should also train myself to avoid having disdain for her because that's a choice too. I can choose to not talk to her. I can choose to give her the silent treatment. I can choose to, you know, not kiss her goodbye in the morning or tell her I love her because my feelings are hurt. And she may have done something legitimately wrong. I'm not saying that that doesn't happen. But at those points, it's probably a choice to be spiteful or hateful or apathetic. And so that's just the thought I wanted to pass on today. Or, you know, I could choose to love her. I could choose her to say, you know, things are going to be better. She's obviously upset. There's stuff on her mind maybe she hasn't even told me about. So I'm just going to be patient, which is also a key element of love if you read through 1 Corinthians 13. So we have choices to make that will determine whether our relationship is going to be successful or not with our love beyond the sea.